And alright guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the self-developed YouTube channel. You beautiful people, I love you all. I'm sending good vibes your way. Let's get it going, guys. Hopefully you're having an amazing day wherever you are in this world, day, night, evening, morning. Doesn't matter. Maybe you're taking a shit. Maybe you're drinking some coffee. Maybe you're having your favorite burrito. Didn't matter. Hopefully you guys are just kicking it, enjoying these videos. And uh, yeah, I'm glad to have you guys a part of the team building this community together. Anyways, with that said, guys, in today's video, straight to it, I titled it How to Find Your Mission as a Man. Now, guys, look, I'm going to be honest with you. As of late, I have received a numerous amount of DMs and questions on David. You know, you speak a lot about mission or finding God or finding this genetic code, this purpose within you but I'll be honest like it's just not clicking how do you do this how do you find it and that's an amazing question obviously it's not something as simple as like I don't know opening your fridge and getting orange juice like <laughs> I mean anyone can do that right you just go to the grocery store buy orange juice it's not that simple it takes more uh, intuition it takes more stillness it takes more receptivity and I believe that is a to be honest, that is the biggest reason why men can't find it because we're just constantly hyper stimulated as far as do this, you know, go to this school, do this, you know, trade in crypto or buy this or invest in this or, you know, that's bad for you. Be vegan, be this, be that. And we're like, what the fuck do we do? <laughs> like, bro, there's so much shit and I completely understand. So I'm just going to be very real with you guys. This is more of a sit back, just one to one chat, not really telling you what to do, but just giving you my experience on what I have done. And then also give you guys some tangible advice moving forwards. So guys, let's go back, back down history lane. Is that what they say? Back, back when David was a little youngling, okay? I'm going to tell you guys exactly how I found my mission, my purpose, uh, connection with God. Really, they're all the same thing, okay, guys? Now, I've made multiple videos speaking about how to find your mission, so hopefully you guys are you know, we're on the same page, you kind of know what I'm talking about, or you already know what your mission is, but just in case, I'll, I'll explain it from a different angle to hopefully help some of you guys. So I found my mission back when I was around 14, 15 years old. Now you guys know that a lot of times your mission, your impetus, your hero's call to adventure usually comes when there is this catastrophe, there's this problem in your life. So for me, this is when my OCD, which is a real thing, it's not, oh, you know, I'm having a bad thought, or I need to organize all these pencils. I have OCD. Like, give me a fucking break. I've seen more psychologists, therapists. Uh, has not been easy, okay? Um, so this is when my OCD uh, really flared up and when my dad passed away at around this age that the mission was given to me, okay? A lot of times, think of like your mission as it's embedded in a problem and the problem comes to you, right? At teenagehood, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18, it shouldn't come much further than that. Maybe your early 20s, it should hit you by now. And if you're unaware, you, 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 I'll be honest, you're probably just blind. You're just ignorant. Like, like what problem has hit your life that you're probably avoiding? A lot of times we avoid it. It's, it's very scary in our life. And we're like, nope, no, 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 no. That's not it. It's, it and it, we're, we're so funny. We're so delusional. I had, I knew someone very close to me. I'm not going to say her name, but like... <laughs> This is literally how she was. Like, she knew her mission. It was so fucking obvious. But because it's so big, grandiose, and scary, it's so close to our hearts. It's so, it's like, it's so sensitive. We, <laughs> we choose anything else. We're like, okay, any other mission but that one. Then, then matter. And so I hope this already is kind of clicking with, like, at least half of you guys. Y you know what it is. It's there. It's just so astronomical. You're like, nope, no, I'll do something else. I'll go work this job. I'll go do something noble. I'll go become a doctor. I'll go do this. And I'm not saying being a doctor is bad, but we will do, bro, people will bend over backwards and do cartwheels through fucking fire hoops, anything else but follow our mission. But it's been in front of you the entire time. Do you understand? It never leaves. I knew at 15 years old, what I wanted to do. When I went through that hardship, I found a mentor. Again, I've made videos very similar to this. So I'm not going to reiterate this entire thing. I want to speak of other things. But right when I entered that hardship, I found a mentor, someone who could bring me up to the light. This was Elliot Hulse. And he at the time was making YouTube videos, right? He was a guy, a mentor making YouTube videos. And I knew right from that day, I was like, this is what I want to do. There's no question. It was so crystal clear to me. But of course, like most of you guys, I shut it away. I'm like, there's no way. I was like this too. This is called refusal of the call or denial of the call. Every single person goes through this. And I would say 95% of you who say, David, I don't know what it is. Yes, you do, motherfucker. You're just denying it. You're ignoring it because it's, it's, it's that big. I'm calling a lot of you guys out. I'm being completely honest with you. A lot of you DM me. I'm telling you the fucking answer, okay? Now, if this is not you, I'm going to give you some more context. Don't worry. But at a certain point, we move back and we accept the call. So a perfect example, actually, a lot of movies depict this beautifully. Think of Lion King. 
beautiful example. Lion King depicts this so well. And I'm talking about like the original Lion King before like Disney kind of like, you know, made it kind of funky. Like, I mean like the OG animated Simba Mufasa. You guys know what I'm talking about. And if you haven't seen this movie, then like, what the fuck's wrong with you? Lion King, think of Simba. Now, when did Simba's mission hit him? Believe it or not, it was when everything went south, right? I hope I'm not ruining it. I'm going to assume the majority of you guys watched the movie, but his father got killed. You understand? His father got killed by his uncle. That was the fucking catastrophe in his life. His entire life shattered. He was, he was chased off, what do they call the promised lands or something like that? Like his, 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 his area where he's supposed to live. He got chased off. He got abandoned. He literally got like casted out. Right? And I think he got, it was blamed on him. Scar lied. The uncle was like, yeah, fucking Simba killed Mufasa. Like, bro, it was not good for Simba. Like, he could not come back. Everyone fucking hated him. His dad just died. Like, that was literally very similar to my life. But, bro, he got, he just got butt fucked, okay? He did not have things go his way, okay? And then what happened? Well, he went into the forest, right? He went into the jungle. He found uh, Timon, Pumbaa, and he began to live this, like, completely different life, right? Not like a lion should. This is the belly of the whale. This is the abyss, right? Confused. And after a certain point, you guys know this, Simba is just, he's upset, right? He's trying to fake it and like eat bugs all day long with Timon and Pumbaa. And like, it looks like, you know, life is great, but like deep down he knows. He's like, he's like, man, I have this yearning. Something is not right. He's miserable. He's not happy. He's not fulfilled. This is where most of you guys are right now. And then what happens is he meets a mentor. This is exactly like I said, right? For me, it was Elliot Hulse. For him, it was Rafiki. It was the monkey. You understand? That crazy little baboon that comes to him in the middle of nowhere. And he starts to implore Simba, come back home. Come back home. Be who you are. The lion, the righteous king that you are. And Simba, what does he do? He denies the call. He's like, you're a fucking crazy monkey. Get the hell out of here. Like, nope, I want nothing to do with it. I believe even Nala comes at this point too. I think even before Rafiki, right? Nala's saying, Simba, come back. You're alive. Come back. And Simba's like, bitch, you crazy. Hell no. No, they hate me, right? I killed my father. They hate me. There's no way. He's belie he, he has all these lies inside of him, right? But eventually what happens is he accepts the call to adventure. At some point, Rafiki, this is known as atonement with father. This is very symbolic, very spiritual. I'm getting goosebumps speaking of this stuff because it's so... It is such a rites of passage for every man. This is how it works. Eventually, Rafiki shows... I'm basically just reciting the whole movie at this point. I had no clue this is what I would talk about. Eventually, Rafiki shows Simba his father, right? He brings him out on like a very dark night and he says, look up to the stars. And Simba sees his father, Mufasa. He sees it in front of his own eyes and he hears Mufasa, right? This is like God. Simba, you need to do certain things that you're not doing. Do you understand? You must go back, help your people. You are not supposed to be here. And then Simba's like, but I don't know what the fuck to do. How am I supposed to do this? And Mufasa's like, remember who you are. Wow, I got goosebumps saying that shit, man, right? That's it. Remember who you are. And Simba's like, I gotta go back. I gotta go back. I gotta do this. I need to go back and take the, the righteous throne again. So he does. He goes back. He goes back. He accepts his call to adventure. I literally have goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see this. He accepts the call to adventure. All of you know what your call to adventure is. You were all Simba. For me at 18 years old, this was me saying, you know what? Fuck it. I am going to do this. I got my call at 15. So three years, I denied it. I was like, Rafiki, bitch, you crazy. Elliot Hulse, you crazy. I'm not being a YouTuber. Fuck that. Like <laughs> maybe in a different world, but not this one. And then finally I said, fuck it. Let's just do it. I went back. I came back. And this is when you now face your trials. You fight your demons. This is when you really go through it as a man. It's not easy. I understand. But eventually what happens is you become victorious. You take over Pride Rock again. That's what it was. Pride Rock. You take it over again as the rightful new king. That is the hero's call to adventure, guys. Beautifully depicted in that movie. So if any of you are confused, literally after this video, go watch that movie. Go watch Lion King. That is the hero's call to adventure. That is how you find your mission. I'm telling you right now, you are Simba. If I have neighbors listening to this, I don't think they could hear me, but they're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? You are Simba. Make no mistake, all these movies, they're all depicted from the same thing, guys. Star Wars, Harry Potter, Lion King. A lot of old Disney movies depicted this beautifully. Not the new ones. The new ones are very kind of brainwashed and liberal and leftist, but like the old ones. They knew this shit. Such an amazing thing, man. Such an amazing thing. And uh, this is accepting the hero's call to adventure. You know what it is. You've had an injustice. 
My father died. I was diagnosed with OCD. My life was just in shambles, man. You find a mentor. You find Rafiki. He will come to you. He will egg you on. He'll, he'll pull you. He'll push you. But it's only through atonement with Father, with God. This is why I keep speaking of God so much, guys, that we accept our mission. Easier said than done, I understand. And I'm not saying I'm the best at this by any means. I'm in it with you guys. And we come back and we dominate. That's when life really begins. That's when you start fighting Scar. You start battling with the hyenas, but you will come out victorious. And if you don't, which you will, you still got to try. Okay, guys? So that is it. I'll be honest, at the beginning of this video, I had no clue I was going to recite Lion King at all. I freestyle every single one of these videos. I let God speak through me. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This should really click for a lot of you. And uh, that's what I can say. If this video didn't help, which it did, go check out other videos. I've made so many on how to find your mission, more tangible steps. But I want to leave this video with just more of this philosophy, more of this idea in your head, this movie, okay? So thank you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. I'll finish it here, guys, with the final plugs. If you guys are interested and would like to work with me at finding what this mission is, connecting with mentors like myself, I'll be Rafiki for you. That's completely fine. Then guys, come join the team. There's one-on-one -on -one coaching spots are open. Come join down below. Next, guys, we have our workshop. I'm posting this on Saturday, guys. So if you're watching this, there is still one more day to join our workshop of June. This is the last day, guys. Come reserve yourself a spot below. I only do this once a month. And if you want to join with four one-hour live stream calls and a private Facebook group, this is your chance, guys. I've made it very affordable for every single man. And we are a brother. Brotherhood. Learn more down below, guys. And finally, our cheapest option is the course. The course, guys, is passive, online, over three hours long, and does everything at completely transforming your lives as men, improving your fitness, business, mindset, and relationships. Go download the free half an hour version below, guys, and I'll finish it there. You guys can support Edge. Come on, baby. We got that black, I believe, enhanced T, I want to say, fits me like a glove. I'm beginning to lose my voice because I'm going daily and I've been banging out these videos and it takes a lot of energy, but I hope you guys enjoy. I love you all and let's pursue our hero's call to adventure. Thank you guys. Apply this tip. Go watch the movie Lion King and I'll check you next video. Come join our workshop. We're going live tomorrow and I'll see you guys then. With that, much love. Peace.